For 70 years, communism ruled. Freedom was chained hand and foot. Government was God. For 70 years, the gospel was suppressed, controlled, kept away from the people. Christians were persecuted. Thousands were imprisoned, tortured, killed. Many churches were closed. Sermons were censored. The name of Christ was banned from home and school. And yet, Christ himself could not be banned. Instead of withering away as communist leaders expected, the church flourished. It was strengthened and purified as communism itself began to wither. The godless tyranny of communism crumbled and the walls came tumbling down. In August of 1991, an attempted coup in Moscow brought about the downfall of the Communist Party. The old USSR was gone. In its place were countries full of people longing for truth, open to the gospel, hungry for God. Just dedicate our time here to the Lord. In response to that openness and hunger, a team from the Advanced Training Institute of America came to Moscow to share the gospel. Realizing as we go out, Lord, that we are not going out fighting against flesh and blood, but Lord, it is a spiritual battle that we go out. Lord, we At the metro, the young people merged with a multitude of hectic, hurried travelers. Topical scripture booklets. Each booklet filled with about 300 verses from God's powerful word are distributed with a smile from caring hearts. And the people of Russia willingly receive them. Even in public, the Russian people do not hesitate to read from the scripture booklets. The great news of God's love and forgiveness is shared with people one by one. That spark of hope is planted in tender, dry hearts. It's, it's nothing by man. It was an amazing privilege for me today to pass out some of the booklets that World Missionary Press has published right here in Moscow, Russia, at the Red Square. Uh, it was amazing to me because this land, just a few years ago, was completely closed to the gospel of Jesus Christ. And here I was openly standing in the center of this land, passing out the word of God as people were walking past us. And I remember watching one young man in the subway who received his booklet and just read it, page after page after page. One of the young people who distributed booklets said, people read the booklets and ask us questions. They never thought it would be possible to receive God's word, especially after all these years when the church was not even allowed to mention the Bible. I rejoice when I see how the people of Russia have opened their hearts for Christ and want to know more and more. One day I was in the metro, the subway system here, and uh, I was sitting next to a lady and I handed her one of these tracts or one of these booklets because it's an excellent way of sharing when you really don't know the language as well as I should. But many things have happened from these tracts and how people have come to know Christ. One day as I was down in the metro, the Holy Spirit prompted me to hand one of these booklets to an old lady who was sitting there. and So I went over and gave the booklet to her and she began eagerly uh, flipping through it and reading it and asking me many questions. I was able to share the gospel with her and all the way home uh, we talked with her and after we stepped off the metro uh, she was beginning to walk away and 
the Lord just really prompted me once again to, to um, go back and talk with her again. I was able to answer some more questions, and as we were down there in that metro station, we were able to lead her in a prayer to accept Christ as her Lord and Savior. It was just so thrilling to see the Lord um, work in that special way and use those booklets to reach the people of Moscow. One of the things we like to do is minister in schools and pass out booklets and Bibles. And uh, the booklets are the help from above. And after school, we go to a Russian home. And I remember one time we were there trying to witness. And since it's hard to communicate with people, we had given them this booklet. I told them the like, plan of salvation. And so when they read that, they understood the gospel much better. And so when we got back to the school, they saw another person receiving Christ, and since they had read the booklet and understood how to get saved, they too trusted Christ as their Savior. Young Russian believers are involved in reaching their own people. I use this booklet uh, to witness to my neighbors. I put this uh, booklet in the box where we have our mails. Uh, and uh, it was really helpful and some people uh, after it some people came up to me and shared how, how interesting it was to read about God and to start with this booklets uh, and then they, they decided they made a decision to read the Bible in the spring you know that everyone um, and especially here in Russia uh, like to put something like to sow in the garden, um, but I didn't get a chance to do this last spring. Um, and so I was thinking uh, what I can do instead of that. And that time, um, somebody brought those booklets to me. I said, oh, these are going to be good seeds. Why won't I plant them into the hearts, souls of people? So as we would go out to the metro and schools, kindergartens, orphanages, I would always take some booklets with me uh, and give them out to people. It was such a joy when you would give the booklet to a child maybe and to tell him, please read and do everything is written here. And because it's really important. And sometimes I would give out the booklet to the people and they would be really interested in that. And after that, the questions would follow and so many times they would become a Christian. Sometimes you don't have time to tell everyone about Jesus, but these booklets um, are such a help and you can just give them to people and pray for them pray for that seed so that it won't perish but will grow and I know that the results we'll see in heaven and that will be the great time of joy masses of people out in the cold without hope and without God Will you help? Will you help to ignite that spark of hope in their spirits? Will you help reach them with the heartwarming power of the Word of God? They are waiting and they are responsive. None of us could have imagined the tremendous and exciting open doors that face us now in this ministry here in Moscow uh, this year. Just a few years ago, the very officials that have opened up the doors to the schools were communists and they would not allow any kind of Bible teaching or biblical literature to be handed out in their school system. And yet, in the last three years, that has totally changed around until now the superintendent of public schools, who was a former communist, is the one who is opening up the doors for our students to come in. She's the one that says, I want our students to be like your students 
students. I want our lives to be as bright and as cheerful as your lives. And so it has been amazing as we have worked with many officials, former communists, former heads of uh, departments, and former atheists who have now become, many of them, believers in God, and many of them even Christians, over the last two or three years as they have seen the events surrounding them and heard the gospel and the Bibles that have been brought into this country and the booklets that have been presented. The doors have continued to open up till today. We are having 55 of our students teaching in the public schools of Moscow, the English in the various schools. Here is Lord. Praise the Lord.